everyone. So today I'm going to be talking standing up. I'm a little heated because this segment or the segment that I'm about to um, explain when it comes to this news, if this were, if this happened to be transgenders getting beat up by, I don't know, females, this will be all over the news, okay? On the hour, every hour. But since this is a transgender, a transgender woman, a male, AKA, who beat up two girls and they're trying to uh, really stay by the narrative that I don't, I don't know, you know, men and women, we're not that different. No, we're not. We have the same body mass. We have the same bone structure, the same um, body density. You're not stronger than me. You're not, we're not stronger than women. What? That's ridiculous. Even though since like the beginning of our existence, men have built this fucking planet. What have women been doing, huh? And now in America, in the, in the 21st century, in the year 2022, uh, 2022, where there's more choice, more opportunities for women to do anything, guess what? The gap to get women into all these other fields that they complain, oh, we just haven't been given a chance to, be given, to come up with these innovations. We haven't been given a chance to come up with um, engineering designs and plans. We haven't been given a chance to build cities. Well, you have had that opportunity for at least 40, well, maybe not 40 years, but 30 years here in America, and yet I don't see that many fucking female house builders. Or, I don't know, railroad workers. The truth of the matter is, men are stronger than women. And we need those men to be in certain places, right? To sit here and to pretend that men are not stronger than women. They do not pose a threat when it comes to our vulnerability. And to think that boys, you know, they don't get hormonal, you know? These boys, yeah, no. They will never ever hurt a girl. Is that the dumbest person ever? Okay, yeah, now that that's happening, mm, everyone wants to stay silent. So without further ado, let's get into this new story here. This shit's really pissing me off. Okay, so let's go ahead and read it. <sighs> Trans student charge after reportedly assaulting two female students in a school washroom. Two female students have been left with injuries after reportedly being assaulted by a trans-identified male student in the woman's restroom at a high school in Edmond, Oklahoma. Redux has obtained a police report related to a violent assault that took place in a woman's washroom at Edmond Memorial High School. The report dated October 26th! Back when they were telling us this shit wasn't happening? reveals that the trans-identified male student was handed a juvenile summon after two female students were left with injuries following a fight he had reportedly initiated with them in the women's washroom. Yeah, this is something that we have definitely said would happen as a precaution. Maybe this is not such a good idea letting in fuckers, boys at that, taking hormone hormone, estrogen, estrogen pills, okay? It's okay to let these fuckers go into girls' room, girls' washrooms, girls who are already emotional. Now you're throwing in this variable who has a lot of shit going on with them and you didn't think that this was going to happen? You, no one thought that this was going to happen. Bullshit. They knew this shit was going to happen. After all the stuff that we've had over, God knows since the beginning of dawn, how this stuff has happened. Uh, uh, every, I can't remember as a child. Every, every, you know, I don't know, few years, you hear about how some girl got raped out of school. No! And that was during, when, when there wasn't this crazy, you know, transgender ideology being pushed. This was just a regular heterosexual, hormonal fucking teenagers. But no, y'all never thought this would happen. Why? Why? Because transgender individuals, they are harmless. No, these individuals can never hurt a fly. Bullshit. They're just as valid and valuable as every fucking human being out there. They, they are no exception to that, okay? They fucking hurt people too. They can kill, they can murder, they can rape. They can.
can hurt and beat up women apparently. So I'm tired of all this fucking not, this fucking rhetoric that these people are just fucking innocent individuals in society and every, every, everyone in society just hate them so much. Okay, really? <sighs> on October 22nd, I'm sorry, on October 26th at approximately 8 a.m., police re responded to reports of a fight that had broken out at Memorial High School in a small community at, at Minn, Oklahoma. Upon arriving, the officers found a female student with injuries to her face and head at the nurse station. <laughs> face and head. All right. Oh, uh, man. After officers noticed the female victim had several red areas on her face. Mm -hmm. That toxic masculinity, there it is, and that both of her eyes were beginning to swell, the officers conducted an interview with the victim, whose full name was redacted due to her age. The female student advised the officer, um, the student advised the officer that a trans-identified student indicated by a letter A had approached her in the woman's restroom while she was speaking to friends. She explained that A had tried to talk to her and she ignored him, at which point A began to get angry and ask if she wanted to fight while approaching her with pallid fists. Wow. <laughs> the victim said the trans-identified student hit her in the face. And indicated, and she indicated um, in her statement that she was not strong enough to fight back due to the force of the blow. The transgender student pulled the girl's hair and forced her to the ground, at which point he began to kick her in the face and punch her repeatedly. The victim's friend, who had been in the washroom at the time, witnessed the incident and were pleading with A to stop his assault. One of the other female students attempted to intervene and was punched twice on the left side of her face by the, assa uh, um, by the assailant. One witness I did, um, indicated that the girl had tried to step in because A is a man and she felt her friend was at risk. I was calming, okay, here we go. A row, I was calming a friend, well, W row, I was calming a friend down and her screaming. So I stood up, went out of the stall so I could jump in and I could jump in I could, they were screaming, told her to leave and alone and to stop looking at her. And then they started screaming at each other and then blank through the first hit, then basically jumped on her, started swinging to save her life. Cause when, you know, this person is a man, then I tried to jump in, also hit from what I saw, her, saw kicked her in the head and in the back twice and then pulled her up and she collapsed and then the principal walked in the female student who intervened is listed as having injuries to her eye face and head with a possible concussion two other witnesses appear to corroborate the victim's story with one stating that the gen transgender student struck the victim repeatedly and knocked her out clean on the floor without any retaliation from the victim one of the other witnesses also stated she had wanted to intervene, but it is not listed as a victim in the report, but it's not listed as a victim in the report. The statement from the transgender student indicated that, uh, indicated he had, <laughs> he uh, had initiated conversation with the victim because he was trying to pay her back for clothes he had stolen from her. Really? So... You wanted to pay her back for clothes that you had stolen from her? I highly doubt that if that was your intention. Like you, imagine I'm going to pay you back for the stuff I stole from you and you're not giving me your attention so I'm going to beat you up. You're going to beat me up because of that? Bullshit, I don't buy it. The student also contra, um, the student also contradicts the victim and witness statements and provided details that are inconsistent with the girl's injuries as recorded by the police. No, whoop dee dee. No one ever thought a transgender boy who hits girls and the injuries when they're giving their story doesn't, I'm sorry, and their injuries in which the girls have, um, it doesn't match their story on how they possibly got them from the physical altercation by this fucking dude. Whatever happened to believe all women, huh? Whatever happened to that? Especially now when they have this clearly on your face 
And I mean, obviously you didn't believe him because we, you know, we see here the story, uh, you know, and it's maybe this, when I think about it, this, this transgender, you know, they're kind of mentally ill. A lot, well, this one here, this person, in my opinion, is just a fucking faggot. Mentally ill. You're not fucking, you are a man. If you're willing to put your hand on a woman like that, you're a fuck. you are a piece of shit man. You're not a fucking woman. You're a piece of shit man who wants to be able to get away with putting your hand on women. All by hiding behind the whole shroud, the fucking facade that, oh, I'm a girl. I identify as a girl. When you fat have a, you probably have a fucking dick and balls and you're and you have an Adam's apple. You're not a fucking girl. You'll never be a fucking girl. You're a fucking faggot. So I'm like, you know, the thing about all this too is the thing that just really pisses me off about all this, um, crap. So the thing that really just pisses me off about all this is because this story, if this had been, I don't know if anyone will remember how there was like the, uh, the John Bonet story of this girl who went, uh, who got you know, kidnapped when she was younger, missing child. When it when it came to all these girl stories, anything that happened to a female that was like this in nature, it was always in the news. Always in the news. But now since the narratives narrative is we don't want to offend transgenders, um, the news try to hype this. And then, you know, their Facebook, Facebook, because I said this and I will tell you, and I don't give a fuck, if anyone tries to delete this. I don't know. I really don't give a shit. Because in this instance where you literally have a man, you have a male, a male physically injuring a woman too at that. Where's the outcry from all the fucking industries out here saying how we should empower women and believe all women and no woman should ever get hit and all that other stuff, right? It's fine, right? As long as it's not from a straight male, I don't give a fuck what these fucking feminists out here, these so-called feminists out here who want to introduce these fucking retarded dudes into our private, our private safe spaces. I don't know what the fuck they are thinking about, okay? I don't know. But when I look at all of this, I think these men, in my opinion, and a lot of my friends that I, you know, had growing up in the beginning, a lot of them were, were just people, individuals from the LGBT community. They were very different back then. These individuals didn't give a fuck what anybody thought about them, and that's what I loved about them. They did not care, and they lived their life. And if you didn't like them, oh fucking well. But now you have a new generation of LGBTQ people, and a lot of these, a lot are standing up, and they're saying something about it. They are. But I don't give a damn. If it's a heterosexual patriarchy or one that's fucking confused, I will not be on my fucking knees for any man. Unless it's my husband, <laughs> just saying. Uh, I will not. Least of all, a man who's confused in his own masculinity. <laughs> his own masculinity. And a fucking faggot at that. You're so confused. You don't even like who you are in your own body. And you think you can rule me? I don't give a fuck. And while all those out there, those, those women who vouch for these types of toxic men to be in women's space and don the name or, or, or be able to wear the name of, or well, wear the title of I'm a female, when you're on the ground, when you're on the ground and your face is getting kicked in, I'm going to look at you and say, are you ready to admit? Are you ready to admit something to me? And once you admit to me, you know, because I, I will be there with my gun. And a rifle if you need it. Once you admit that, hey, men, hmm, maybe they do have a physical advantage over women. And that guns are the great equalizer. Only then. Will I help you and shoot the fucker for you? But all those other ladies who are like, nope, we do not like this. We do, we are not homosexual, we are not trans uh, transphobic at all or in nature at all. We just want those men to respect us 
Respect, respect our private spaces. And if you truly want to be a female, get your shit turned, cut off. Or at least look and be presented like one. I promise you, if you went into the girls' bathroom like this, no one would question you. Not one bit. Not one bit. And there's individuals out there that I've seen that no one would ever, 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 ever cause them any harm simply because they're transgender. Especially when they're open about it and they are not encroaching on your, uh, encroaching, encroaching on your way of life and trying to force their views upon you. I've never seen those people, in my opinion, I've just never seen them, in my opinion, and what, from what I've seen with the individuals that I have been around in my friend group, I've never seen them, you know, discriminate against because, sorry, they kind of look like the real deal, you know, like an actual woman. But... With all that being said, ladies, get your ass down to the uh, range and start practicing. Just in case you gotta bust a, a cap in front of these faggots' ass, I'm just saying. Just saying. Don't want you to feel bad because you wasn't prepared. And if you see this shit happening, speak out about it more. A lot of women don't understand this. You wouldn't have female women rights if it wasn't for men. And I'm not talking about the faggot ones. Those motherfuckers are the most misogynistic men I have ever seen. They are way more threatening to female survival than straight men ever will be. Because here's the thing. Straight men will not hide behind women when it comes to trying to get away uh, when it, when, it, when it comes to co trying, when it comes to trying to get away from their sins in society, most men, most straight, most masculine men will look at that man and call him a piece of shit, no good for nothing, a sorry excuse for a man, and be done with his ass. But with these transgenders, these transgenders men, these transgender males that have no regard for human, uh, that have no regard for female safety for female rights, these men do not care about women. They are the most misogynistic individuals I have ever seen. And they, and why they are more of a threat is because they will hide behind, they will hide behind the fact they can call you transphobic, shut you down if you say they are anything other than a woman. And that is what makes them dangerous. They can do whatever they want to a woman, but since they identify as a woman, you can't say anything about them or else you are transphobic. So that to them, in their minds, it gives them the go ahead to beat on women. Be careful what you fucking wish for women. You don't think that men are like that. With all the shit that y'all have been saying, the toxic patriarchy and all this other crap, you don't think that if you, if you, all the shit that they've done, if you thought the shit that they've done was um, toxic, you don't think they would ever do some shit like this? Really? Either you're just that fucking dumb and made a case for why women should not have had certain rights. <laughs> and, then that, and if that's the case, just shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. Alright? Just shut up. Alright? A lot of y'all women just need to shut the fuck up. Just really, you do. And me, at times, I know I do too. But in this instance, when it comes to female rights, I will always put a female, a biological female, over a man. I will put a transgender woman who actually went through all the surgery, you know, who committed herself to all that, I would put her in the same group as me and fight for her before I fight for a transgender who won't even change their surgery because bitch i want to protect myself and the newly you know transgender who got her new body parts okay i don't like motherfuckers who like to take advantage of situations to do harm and what we just saw that was a clear intent to do harm. Because even if it wasn't that, this individual already targeted a girl and stole her shit. So now you've got not only these faggots taking girls' opportunities, 
Now you have these faggots stealing your shit. Yeah, like I said, you think trend, you think straight men are your only problem? <laughs> nah. We keep going down this road. Women, your, your problem won't be straight men. Your problem will be finding a straight man who can deal with the fucking faggots that we have in our society who have made life harder. Okay? You don't think that when you have individuals running around like this thinking that they're women, that they can go in women's spots, women's spaces and just beat them like this simply because we refuse to talk to them. If you don't think that this is making the world, I'm sorry, if you think that this is making the world safer, something's wrong with you. It's making it a lot less safer. That saying, good times make weak men and weak men make for hard times, it will be hard men, strong men, who will get us back on the track and deal with these fucking faggots and put them in their place. So yes, I am very sad that Facebook, all these other companies, Twitter, MasterCard, Amex, Google, all these companies that vouch for women's rights and to stop this abusiveness towards women, not only am I disappointed, I'm not really shocked that nothing came out of you. But what I am disappointed is when women bring it up. You call that hate speech. Facebook will call this hate speech because I call this person a faggot for beating up women. What name should he be called, Facebook? A piece of shit male who beats on women. I ask you, what should you call these types of mentally ill, delusional fuckers who think they have the right to hit and kick women while they're on the ground? What word would you like to use? I would like to know that. Show the world how men, faggot men, who pretend to be women, are in fact, in your opinion, better than women. Show us, tell the world how women, they don't need to succumb to a heterosexual patriarchy. No, we're going to succumb to men who don't even know they're men, who know that they are men, you want us to listen to these confused motherfuckers. You want us to bow down to that sort of patriarchy. I don't think so.